In the second part of completing the square, we're actually going to use it to solve a quadratic equation. And we're going to start out with the quadratic equation x squared plus 4x minus 8 equals 0. And the first thing I'm going to do is this. I am going to put x squared, and you have to hold on until I write this thing out, plus 4x plus the magic number, I like to call it. And I'm going to put the constant 8, negative 8 on the other side, and it becomes 8. And if I add a number to one side of the equation, I'd better add it to the other. So I'm going to add it. Well, what's the number I'm going to add? Well, I'm going to add a number in order to make this a perfect square trinomial. So I take one half the coefficient here, which is 2 and squared and 4. I put 4 there. Over here, I have to put 4. Otherwise, I don't have any quality. So this automatically turns into x plus 2 quantity squared equals 12. Okay. Now, this is fairly easy to solve because I have the I have the situation where r squared equals q, and we know that r equals plus or minus the square root of q in that case. So I'm going to write this as x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 12. And if we want, we can make this a little simpler by calling this plus or minus. Uh, what is 12 is 4 times 3, so I can take the square root of two, take a 2 out, can I? Square root of 3, right? So now I solve for x proper, and I get x equals negative 2 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 3. Now, obviously, this kind of an answer, these two answers to this uh, quadratic, you would not get by factoring. The only way you could get this is with a uh, technique like completing the square. Let's do another example. Here we have x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. And we do a similar uh, thing. We take x squared minus 3x, uh, I get that 3 looking a little better, plus my magic number, which is going to make eventually make my perfect square trinomial, equals a positive 2 on this side, but I have to add my magic number to both sides. One of the mistakes people make is not adding to this side once they've added to this side. They just leave a 2 over here, and they don't put the number on this side as well. Well, I need my um, the number that I, uh, a number for, uh, to make a perfect square trinomial here. So I take one half of negative 3, which is negative 3 halves. I square that, and I get 9 fourths, don't I? So if I add 9 fourths to this side, I better add it to this side. Okay, and this gives me a nice uh, squared binomial here. Plus, oh, minus, isn't it? Whoa, let me erase that for a second here. There we go, let's try that again. I get x squared minus, almost made the mistake. Uh, I'm sorry, not x squared minus, but I'm making mistakes all over the place here, aren't I? I get x minus, <laughs> what, 3 halves, right? Make that 3 better. I'm telling you, writing on this board is a killer. Squared equals, now, uh, this is really 8 fourths, isn't it? 8 fourths plus 9 fourths, and that gives me 17 fourths. OK. So again, I've got the situation of something squared equals 17 fourths. So I take the second root of both sides, and I get x minus 3 halves, that look clear, equals plus or minus the square root of 17 fourths. Well, I can simplify that a bit, can I? I can say, all right, uh, square root of 17 over the square root of 4, that releases that uh, 4 into a 2, square root of 4 into a 2, and I get plus or minus the square root of 17. That's supposed to be a 1 there, over 2. So my final answer is going to be, when I solve for x, 3 halves. Uh, plus or minus the square root of 17 over 2. Now, I could combine this into one fraction, or I could leave it like this, either one. So I get two answers there, and there we have it.